Hi, this is a series of really quick tutorials on grab styles, a CS4 specific new introduction um, to grab. Obviously we had the fight and change and we could use grab in searching throughout text and making changes that way in CS3, but now in CS4 we can actually generate paragraph styles that also apply character styles to certain strings of text. And what I want to do in this case is actually change all of the text that's between brackets into italics. I've already started out by creating a paragraph style called body text that's applied to all of the text here. And I'm now, in preparation for the grab style, going to create a character style that applies. And I'll make it medium italic so it stands out a little bit more that applies a medium italic, oops, character style. So new character style, might as well call it medium italic. Click OK. I don't need to apply it to the selection because um, I don't want the word broad to be um, listed um, with this, um, to be formatted using the medium italic character style. Um, so that, that's that bit done. Um, I'll, um, I'll clear the overwrites in the first body text style now so that we reset that word broad to just regular minimum pro text. And we're now ready to look at what we can do with grab styles. So grab actually allows us to find particular patterns throughout our text and format, format those with a character style. And the pattern that I'm looking for is an open parenthesis followed by any type of character, not just digits or word characters or letters or, or spaces. No, it basically any character that can appear you know, one or more times and then a closing parenthesis. So that's the pattern that I'm going to look for. And I'm going to apply that sort of particular search string as part of my body text paragraph style. So I'm going to right click or control click if you're on a single button mouse the body text paragraph style and choose edit and jump straight here to the grab style. I need to insert a new grab style before I can do anything and the first thing that I normally do is just wipe out um, this tool text string. I wish that would have sort of been like a blank string when you insert a new grab style. So what do we want to do? Well. First of all, right here is where you choose what particular character style is going to format a particular string of text or a particular pattern that you're going to find in your text. So that is going to be our medium italic. And then now need to set in this particular area what that string is going to be, what that pattern is going to be. So on the far right hand side here, I've got this little drop down from which I can choose some predefined and preset components that form part of the pattern that I'm looking for. And in particular, I'm looking initially at an open parenthesis character, and then obviously we get some text in between and a closing parenthesis character. So I'm going to choose open parenthesis from the symbol drop down here. And that's going to automatically insert the grab code for that. Now, if you're a whiz in grab and if you say, I don't want to use these drop down menus, then go ahead and there are plenty of sites available online that you can find through any search engine that will give you all of the codes. But I personally prefer to actually use these little drop downs because, you know, a lot of the stuff that you're looking for is actually randomly, readily available here. So I now need to look for really any type of character that sits between the opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis. And any type of character is considered a wildcard. So wildcards can basically be anything. If I were to choose any digit, digit, then the grep style would be applied to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So whichever digit it is. Um, the same for any letter or character. And in this case, I really want to look for any, any character. Um, any character includes white space, letters, digits, you name it, it's all inserted. Now, I'm not just going to look for one particular character. I now need to determine you know, how many times I want this any character rep to repeat between the opening and closing parenthesis. So I'm going to choose 
from the repeat menu, oops, slip of the trackpad here, one or more times, but I'm also choosing something additionally, and that is the shortest match. I'm doing that because it could happen that I have two sets of brackets, um, text between brackets in, this, in the one paragraph. And if I weren't going to choose the shortest match, then it could happen that the italics will actually apply from the very first parenthesis to the, to the very last closing parenthesis within the paragraph. And I literally wanted to find the first one, apply italics, and immediately stop applying the italics when it finds the second one. So I really want to find the shortest match. And now I want to obviously insert another symbol, and that is the closing parenthesis character. So let's have a look. We'll just click this preview on and off. And you should see that right here and there, the text is now nicely formatted within brackets. I'll continue with a little bit more on this particular paragraph style, to, and we'll do a few additional grab components in the next tutorial.